Peace and great health. Assalamu alaikum to the Fidels. Peace be unto you. To the infidels, this is Count Nova L. Dallas L. Bailey Bay back with the More View podcast. Represent more society for the ministry of America. And we got to get into it. So this reaction video is with my man, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. Much um, much love to this brother um, and everything he's dealing with and all positivity and, and congratulations to his um, results and everything and sending positive energy and positive positive vibes to him. Uh, this is a reaction. I was looking a little bit at this and I was like, yeah, I want to think I want to react to this. It's um, so young lady, he's on here with, um, says she argues, stop warning, warning men against marriage. Let's get it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Gotta, gotta do the respect. Disclaimer, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Let's get it. Is, is the mo is 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 the mo here? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I disagree with everything. Everything, yeah. She's she's the she's the disagreer. Like, no, let, me, let me stop lying. I don't disagree with everything you say, but what? Let me try to bring it to one thing. So I disagree with using the statistics of divorce to sway your decision on marriage. That's what I disagree with. Really Who's that in the background? Who's that, click, who's that clicking? Who's that over there clicking? Who that? My friend, my friend snapping. Do you? I, did, she like, I was about to turn the camera. You know me, but she. she does your friend want to join in on the conversation? She said she might add in her two cents as. as uh, all right. She's scared. She's scared. All right. All right. So, so real quick. So real quick. So you disagree with me um, entering in the. 50% divorce rate. Yeah, I, I I disagree with you using the statistics as a point to sway somebody's opinion on marriage. Not saying that you're swaying, I'm just using it. Okay. So let me let me let me let's let's talk about this. Let's say that I was like, hey yo, Mo, okay, we just recorded some content. Mm -hmm. Let's let's go out to this restaurant, okay? In order to celebrate the content that we used to record, okay? And we go out to the restaurant, but before we enter in the restaurant, I say, hey, listen, 50% of the people that go into this restaurant end up leaving with food poisoning. Don't you think that that would be a fantastic thing to know before you sat down at said restaurant? Goodbye and the spam calls. Hello to a phone plan with built-in spam blocking. Yes, I believe, I think that that would definitely be a fantastic thing to know. However, <laughs> however, that was, I, I see what you did there. That was good. That was good. That was good. There are some people in this world that love to disagree. I know a few. But people, they just love to disagree. Like, it doesn't, like, someone's like, that's the only reason why they're there to, to have a conversation with you is just to disagree with what you have to say. That's a very frustrating thing to even do to even have that conversation with someone because you get why having a conversation that it's not really this person is here to be open to maybe new information or or even okay, I have my point, but I can see your point type of awareness or the type of like hey i i still feel what i feel but i i get i get what you're saying too but sometimes some people not saying she like I, i've seen some of this but not saying she is but she said i disagree <laughs> but it's some people that just no matter what are just going to disagree with you that was a really good but i don't think that that should be um because for one i feel like that restaurant wouldn't be open so i don't think that that's as realistic as it sounds that wasn't the point i understand why you use that but i disagree <laughs> like i always do I... 
See? I disagree. And do you want to know my reasoning for the reason why I disagree? Sure. My reasoning is because we know that a lot of, there's a lot of single parents out here, especially in our culture. There's a lot of single parents out here. So they don't even see what successful marriages look like. I'm going to um, be doing a podcast soon about what is, what actually is, quote unquote, our culture as a so-called black race of people or black or more nationality of people like what actually is our culture like what what is it you no know, before you completely spell out culture you got to spell cult understand and if we can agree that most people get married most people get married for the wrong reason in which you've said most people get married for the wrong reasons and most people well not most people but some people have been raised in single parent homes in which they don't even know what it looks like to have two parents so, okay so in my opinion it's more likely to not be successful because we have people out here that are marrying for the wrong reasons they're marrying for the wrong reasons so i wouldn't go based off of the statistic because i know that a lot of people are marrying for the wrong reasons and they're not thinking it through as we do. And that's supporting the statistics. So what I'm saying is if you're, go ahead. So we're, we're actually saying the same thing. Right. How so? Because I'm saying that there's a 50% divorce rate, which means that there's a goddamn issue. <laughs> so what am I telling men? To relax, all right? Relax. Work on Look yourself. at her face. Work on your purpose. She she just said, "Hey, people are married for the wrong reasons. They are single family homes. They don't even get to see what what a man and woman should be, what it should look like. They, they don't even get the rehearsal. They don't get enough of the, of just seeing how that cohabitant goes between a mother, your your mother, your mother, not." your your mother with an and another man or your father and another woman but how your mother and your father co-mingle because those are the most two important people in the world to a child to see right to grow up to say emulate or to be better than or to do but you know what that's your goal is to is to be as good or better depending on your circumstances and living environment that you did not ask to be in for what so let them off the hook, let yourself off the hook. But she just reiterated the reasons why the statistics are the way they are. But she disagrees with herself. Understand yourself more. Understand, shit, what's the number one reason that, that marriages fail? Financial reasons. Mm -hmm. Work on yourself first. Increase your financial knowledge and foundation increase your masculinity okay don't do it for love make sure that there's a reason a tangible re like the brother that got out here the 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 karate brother that talked about the building of his business because he had someone to take care of his children like he did it for a reason right like there was a tangible reason outside of love that they actually decided to get it done so what we're saying is, is that, so what you said was, is that, yeah, but it's not like a, a, a something that we can use as an example because the, <laughs> because the, uh, because the restaurant will be closed. And what I'm saying is, is that no one understands uh, how, or most people don't understand, especially people that don't look at the content in the sphere, um, don't understand how uh, the burning platform of uh, the repercussions of, of marriage until A, they experience a divorce, or B, they come into the sector and they look, in, look into the space because the government is not incentivized to remove the construct of marriage. So there is no food inspector for the government. They're not gonna just remove marriage. So no one's going to remove it. So it's incumbent on the men to speak about the potential implications of it going awry and it literally taking off years of their life. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying that I'm not saying not to consider the statistics. 
But what I'm saying is not to allow the statistics to say, no, I'm not going to do things. You get what I'm saying? So if you say there's 50% of divorce. Did she just get what she was saying? Do not let the statistics to deter you from doing something. That's why you have statistics. I'm not saying statistics are built like, oh, you shouldn't get married. That's not what I'm saying. Based on whether it's business, whether it's life, whether whether getting getting um having a child as a teen statistics, like the the likelihood of success for, for the parent, the the type of environment that you can provide for your child, you know what I'm saying, as a child, like all the all these type of things have statistics, but there are reason, there are always reasons for everything. There's always like, what's the problem? Like, why why this isn't working out? Or why, or why, how is this being successful? You have a successful rate of anything. You have a, a, a failure rate of anything. You have, you have to take everything into account, not based just on your own opinion, but just looking at everything like, why does things work for some people and why don't they work for other people? So you yourself can make the best decisions. That's why you need statistics. That's why you need information. That's why you need data. That's why you need facts. So you can't just roll on, on just your emotion all the time because you could be wrong 100% of the time and not know it. And you say, well, I'm not going to get married because 50% of divorces fail. I'm saying to use that reasoning to decide not to do something and to go into a marriage ship or go into a partnership long term or something like that to use the reasoning of the statistics what i'm saying you know the only people to use to use the word partnership are women i've never ever 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 ever, ever heard a man say partnership because that means we're 50 50 equal for one but i'm not saying a man or woman isn't equal because there's some things that a man can do, a woman can't do. There's things a woman can do, a man can't do. So it's a balance. It's, it's the yin and yang. It's that way for a reason. Right? We are, well, why, that, why they ain't a partnership? Well, are we in business together? Because that's, that's a partnership. If we just in business together and we're here to make money, then that's a partnership. And that should be 50 50 or based on who bringing whatever to the business. A relationship between two people is, is a committed thing that you want to be with this person. It's a committed thing. You can commit to a business and work on one day. You don't want to do the business anymore. You might have tax and whatever things you need to go through to shut down that business or to sell off whatever assets, inventory. But when you with someone and you wake up one day like, I don't wanna be with this person no more. You gotta take stock of what you invested, what you put in, all that messy stuff. When it's that breakup. But I don't know why some women describe this as a partnership. I guess they just want to <clears throat> look at itself as, as equal to a man. You know, I heard someone say, you know, you, relationships are 50-50 and I heard someone else say, well, you know, you just grow up knowing that 50-50, well, but relationships are 100 hundred, like everybody got to give 100% of whatever they bring in to each other. They might not, the thing about it, a man and woman might not bring the same things to each other. What, what that woman might want from that man might not be the same thing that man wants from that woman. This is interesting. I'm just listening to how people talk. It's my disagreement. Not to use that as your sole reasoning to not go into something based off the statistics of other people's experience. You know what I'm saying? I get, I get you, Mo, but but we, but I just answered that, and I said, would you not use the information of fifty percent poisoning rate at a restaurant as a sole determinant to choose to eat somewhere else? So poisoning, yes, because it has to do with my, well, like my 
my, I don't want to say well-being, but the, that, I don't agree with that comparison. However, <laughs> what? I don't, I don't agree with that comparison, but I would consider, I think it's something. Why? That's what I'm saying. I think it's something to definitely consist, to consider. The statistics is something that, Here's you, a thing. but I don't think that that should be the sole reasoning oh, for not man. getting into something. That's Just to disagree, to disagree. I'm not going to take in the facts to make a, a good decision so I won't make a bad decision. I just feel like you should still do it anyway, regardless if you're going to fail or not. It's a high probability this thing will fail, but you should do it anyway. Don't let it deter you, is what she's saying. He's saying, take everything into account to make sure you, you, you bring the best you to the table so it will be something secure, that you can secure. That's always been my argument of, of myself being on, not being on this ship. I haven't been able yet to make sure I can secure it yet. I, can, I can't afford that yet. That's I know what that comes with. And there's certain things, if I can't make sure I can check off all these boxes as a man, as the type of man I would like to be for a woman, until I check all them boxes off, I ain't a candidate. Okay, I, I, I get the sole reasoning, right? But there's a lot of other data points where men can speak about the uh, difficulties of what happens to men in the family court system. Um, time and time again, they can speak about these different things. So if you lead off with the initial of 50% divorce rate, 70% initiated by women, right? I think that it sends off alarms be alarm bells that, hey, maybe this is not something that I should do without that's something that some women I ain't saying all some women don't consider like if you get married to a man and just by chance he made more money than you the duration of y'all marriage um he has to pay alimony if that marriage doesn't work out you know, like he got, he got, a, you know, and if you have children, you got alimony, child support, he gonna have to break off a little something, something until you get remarried or until you decide to get remarried. You know, I always got to take care of them children until they become of age, of course, but he got to take care of you also, even if he ain't married to you anymore. Not fully as before, but you, it's a piece. You just a piece of him is going along with the divorce. Something that a lot of times women don't even have to consider. They, they, they consider it like, well, shoot, if I leave, I'm, I'm still going to be good no matter what. Right. But he going to be half of what he was. And he going to have to rebuild, rebuild that. You know what I'm saying? Over, if you over, overstand like that's that's the, the the data, the facts go into the statistics of it all. That's why men and women need to consider everything because everything needs to be considered to make sure you have something that is successful so you won't end up half of yourself. Going for goddamn certain that this is the person that I wanna do it with because especially if the man is the breadwinner, which happens in most cases that he is the breadwinner, um, it can be seen as a young lady who wants a wedding as opposed to a marriage or a young lady that wants a pension plan and that man being the pension plan into the future and a pension plan if a divorce happens as well. So a woman, of course, there's going to be ladies that want nothing more than marriage to happen because they want a pension plan if they get married and then they also want a pension plan if they get divorced. So it seems to be a system put in place which seems to uh, uh, put up the needs of women more than men. So of course, you guys who are getting most of the benefit uh, would want this system to continue. But when, when I give you an example, to, an analogy of whether it be skydiving, 50% chance of living, or whether it be at a restaurant, 50% chance of getting food poisoning, one's death and the other one's just food poisoning, 
still people don't want to use those comparisons to marriage. And at that point, my logic breaks down because I don't understand why. Because mm -hmm. I think the difference is is because it is life and death. I agree with everything you said as say as saying that food poisoning is not death. I'm saying in our in our word when you say that it's more beneficial for us i agree i agree that the court system does not work out for men i agree that it's more beneficial for us i agree that you should consider the statistics when you're making a decision but what i'm mm -hmm. saying is there are sole reason in my, in my opinion in my opinion i think that it should not be the sole reason and i also think that you should trust yourself based off of your decision if you're living in your purpose as a man in your masculinity, you should you should know the direction in which you want to go and you should be able to determine. Now, I'm saying that some people, you know, like. In my opinion, when I'm dating men, you know, what I'm saying I have gotten to a point of self-awareness to the fact that I can gauge more than likely what type of men that I'm dealing with, in my opinion. Now, so what I'm saying is, yes, I can say, okay, most, you know, there are most men that only care about sex or only want you cook for your cookie and stuff like that. Yes, statistically, it could be like men have high sex drive, this and the third. But I'm not going to use that as my sole decision to decide not to, um, in, like, not to be in a situation with men. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm, I, I'm, to I'm totally with you. So... I get that the analogy of the food is very simple in nature or skydiving is simple in nature. And I agree with you that marriage is more complicated because it's involving two different people. There's a lot more um, factors at play, but there's a, a lot, lot of other, yes, but there's a lot of other data, numbers, statistics, and reasoning and points that men you utilize to make whatever decisions that they want to make. And, and I want to make that clear, is that it's not just a 50% divorce rate. So I, I get the argument to say to only use the 50% divorce rate is a little bit rash. I get that argument. But there's a whole bunch of other things that's within that. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you think that uh, a 50% divorce rate is not a reasoning to, um, let me say, to um, treat the construct or the um, potential repercussions of getting married differently? I, no, I agree that you should. I think that because okay. that, you know, women um, nowadays, there are a lot of women that are, you know, with men for the wrong reasons, they, you know, you just, and, and it could be vice versa, but if we're talking about men specifically who suffer the most or have the most consequences when making that decision, if we're talking in that sense, then yeah, there's a lot of women out there that, you know, are gold diggers or use you for something or whatever case it be. So I definitely think that you should consider it and you should act accordingly. I think that's all he was trying to say in the beginning is just to take everything into consideration. <clears throat> she came in saying, well, you, you're using this statistic to stop men and men for one to get married. Like you should you stop doing, I disagree with that. But how could you disagree with information? I, you know, there are people out here that actually was said, I understand there are some information that is distorted. I understand there are some, but we ain't talking about surveys or polling you know so that's that's a little different you know whether you realize or not government keeps data on everything they have i mean how much a person makes with a college degree with a master's with, with just a high school diploma or whatever it is you know how many how many women get abortions every gender i mean every um every race they have a statistic of, of, of everyone so it's you have these numbers just you need these numbers as a nation but you need these numbers as a community to know what works and what don't work period that's all we need to be better informed it will be it will be best for us to be highly more informed than we are just going off or feeling on emotion you you know you know someone that have got has gotten married you like that shit ain't gonna work 
And almost 10 times out of 10, it don't work. You know, not for these people of the day, is they had different kind of people than the people back in the day. We have a lot more distractions. We, we had a space and time where we, fo- we had time to focus on family and giving it all our energy. Where now we're trying to give everything else our attention and our energy. And it seems like family is the last thing that's on the plate. And that's a damn shame because you can't have a nation of anybody without family. That's what a nation is. A nation is just a group of families. That's it. And it's being broken down daily. Hey, this is another interesting one. And if you want to follow me on um, IG, it's count noble L, count underscore noble underscore L Dallas. Facebook, more made, TikTok, L underscore Dallas. And I'll be back.